Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Darnell B. Welcome to Tech On My Dresser. I was working on something earlier today. I plugged my phone up to my car and I was not getting any sound from my phone or from the car, although the audio was playing. And I'm like, hmm, what could it be? Now, it was a pretty simple fix. I went to settings, took care of it in like two minutes. But I was thinking, there are some people that just aren't as savvy when it comes to their devices. So I thought, why not post a video it might help somebody all right so the reason it's not working is once you hook it up it needs something to play now when i say that it wants to play off a default so think of it as a foundation all right it wants that first if that's not there then the house can't be built we'll say it like that and that foundation is apple music and it doesn't necessarily have to be the streaming service itself but it wants to play something off the library within that app so if you're like myself and you don't use Apple Music, you have to actually go into your settings and then turn on your purchases. All right, so first, let's get to that home screen. I realize some of you might not be super tech savvy, so I'm gonna try to take my time, explain it as best as I can. But if you feel like you're being left behind, just pause it. You can pause it and continue the video. Uh, I'll still be in the exact same place you left me when you pause it. So. First, we're gonna go to the home screen. Then we're gonna go to settings. Settings is gonna be the app that looks like gears. All right, now once you get into there, you're gonna scroll down or scroll up. I notice a lot of people say, all the way till you get to music. It's pretty far down, you'll see it. So when you get to music, it looks exactly like the iTunes app. You see the logo there. Click music. Now when you get to music, uh, you're likely gonna see something that shows Apple Music. If you don't use Apple Music, you can go ahead and just turn it off and under that you'll see join Apple Music I'm not gonna click that like I said unless you want to be an Apple Music subscriber which will actually solve your issue as well so under that is what we need and it says show all purchases that's what we want to click we want to turn that on now when you turn on show all purchases what this does it shows all the purchases that you've ever made from iTunes as far as the music goes in your library once you connect your vehicle will see that there's something in your library and it'll attempt to play that from there you can pause it and play whatever you want after that after it's already like i said got that foundation and a reason to play music all right so remember at first it said no song so we reconnected it now and now it's showing me actual tracks so it's playing some stuff from my library super super old stuff i bought a long time ago as i said i don't use apple music anymore so what's cool is like i said once you have that foundation then you can really just do what you want so let's say you don't want to listen to anything from apple music obviously because you don't have that many purchases say we want to watch youtube let's see all right belinda's got a new video he just dropped 23 minutes ago let's check him out audio coming straight from mm. all right people so that is it I apologize if that it wasn't exactly what you wanted to hear you do need that app to get this to work and like I said before if you don't have any purchases or anything in the library it's not gonna work for you it needs to read something off that library all right so two ways to work around that Either you have something for the library, you buy something for the library, or you just go ahead and join Apple Music. You join Apple Music, you use the app, then you're not going to have any problems because you're going to have songs that you like saved and played without buying them, but you are paying a monthly subscription. Now, if you're like me, you already have Spotify. Uh, I already have uh, some old purchases, so I just do that. Once you do that, that foundation is laid. You can pause the music, swipe out of there, play YouTube, play Spotify, play whatever audio you want. You just need those songs in the library to be read by the system. And once it does that, you're good to go. But that is it. I tried to make this short and sweet, but still in depth enough so that everybody understands. Uh, but I am Darnell B. This is Tech on My Dresser. Peace.